Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we have some Grixis or Rakdos Blue Moist Rakdos uh, Sacrifice Mill. Um, so Rakdos kind of Steal and Sack was a deck that was pretty popular early in Kaldheim Standard, but is very poorly positioned against Sultai. Um, so what this deck is looking to do is have, use blue cards um, in the sideboard to kind of hedge that matchup. But notably, it does give you the option to play Thassa Deep Dwelling uh, in your main board. And with uh, Thassa, when you steal your opponent's creature, you can blink it at the end step, and then it remains under control on your side of the field. Uh, it also lets you take advantage of ETB style effects um, to get extra, like, Mire Tritons or Woe Striders. Um, and it's a way with, like, um, to kind of, if you have a lot of mana late game, to tap down creatures as well. So the general theme of the deck, we're not all in Graveyard in this particular version. It's kind of more of a mid-rangey shell. Um, you're trying to steal your opponent's creatures with Claim the Firstborns and the Acronin Wars, and then either sacrifice them to Village Rites, Woe Strider, or Blink with Thassa. You can also sacrifice with Immerstrom Predator, uh, which gets larger and gives itself indestructible. Um, and then you have some removal in Blood Chief's Thirst, Heartless Act, uh, and then Croxas. Um, and Bone Crusher Giants. Uh, so this deck I saw uh, Ub Ubelstar, um, another streamer was playing it for the SCG Open. I uh, went day two with it. Um, sideboard wise, um, you got like Duress, Soul Guide Lantern, Disable Stroke Negates for like counter matchups. Uh, against the Grinder matchups, you have Skyclave Shade. Uh, Roiling Vortex also helps against the Saltai matchup, but against Saltai you can bring in Stroke Negates, Miss Disputes. Uh, and then you have like card advantage and ox, rolling vortex, stuff like that. So we will give this a shot. I think we are 97%. Play a couple games of this. See how it goes. Thus far, this today's games played has been nothing but Yorian decks. We will see if we play something other than that. Not your end. Also, this hand does nothing. This hand is pretty sweet. Um, I think we're putting away the village rights right now. It's the furthest from being a playable card. It is better with like Woe Strider, but I think the way our curve is going, we want to play a tap land, kill something on two, play Woe Strider, and then a Cronin War ideally. All right. Mono white aggro. Gonna keep that. Okay, so this is interesting that they protect there. So I think here, I'm just gonna Heartless Act. Now they can give this protection. I also can't do that. So let's just take them off that. We go Woe Strider next turn. I can use it as a blocker. Second Luminarch. Okay. See, that's actually interesting now because they can hold up protection and removal. So that gets around my Cronin War. Let's get them to potentially overcommit without them seeing what we're on yet. I do have a block made available with this. So what we want them to do is... Problem is even like attacking with Faceless Save in here still gives them the mana up. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna block like this. I guess they could sack here, but it does force them off the dog. 
That's actually pretty decent. So they can sack this. Might not be the worst. Meyer trade in doesn't really do much at this point. And this will at least kind of force their creatures to die potentially. So next turn, so the Luminarch's got to attack this turn, and drawing another Faceless is also annoying. So I put the counter on Faceless is my guess. Really interesting that they're not doing that. It's the most resilient of their threats. Um, so this turn, do this, gain some life. Croxa for next turn will be pretty good as well. Because this holds them back on the Faceless Haven attack this turn. Probably just gonna boast this turn. We are taking five. Don't, yeah, so I need to do this to get the Croxa. So we'll do this. Go get a red source. Crocs will get the card out of their hand. All seeds, very annoying. So I can go Woe Strider here. Can go Immersion Predator, doesn't really do a huge amount. I think we're just doing Croxa here. Keep the Woe Strider in the yard. kind of keeps them, them back right now. Like they can sack it to give it evasion, but it doesn't do a huge amount. Can get Predator going, um, getting close to the point where Thassa can also start tapping down stuff. Or they just top deck literally the perfect card. It's a hell of a top deck, I can tell you that. Claim would be good here. Actually doesn't even do too much. I need like Bone Crusher Giant. We're also a land away from Valky. Hey Pro Instant, how's it going? I'm doing well. We're getting, a, unfortunately, a tad bit punished by the opponent's top decks. But um, otherwise doing well. How are, you, how, are you, uh, how are you doing? So they can give a pro. This person's drawn like the perfect interaction at every juncture of the game. 
You know what? I should have made one of these blue because now I can't tap down. Will Strider gives me some bodies, but I think we need to try to find a steel effect here. So they can sack, they do have lethal on board. They sack to give Faceless Haven Pro Red. So we'll see if they see that line. Cyborg wise, we don't really bring in much removal, but we don't we didn't really draw what we needed that game. Like the opponent had perfect alignment of like selfless saviors and all seeds. Croxus can probably come out in this matchup. So let's see if they see the line here. So they need to sack, steal, yeah. Thassa wouldn't have saved us here because we wouldn't have had the requisite amount of blockers. Ah, tad unfortunate. Um, I think we're just going to get rid of the Croxas. Bring in a Remorse. Not bring in one Croxa. Just do it like that. The fact, like, we get hit by a lot of their stuff, but the timing of, like, when we got our spells out to theirs, like, they got around our claims. If we, had, if we were able to Cronin War that turn, the game goes a little bit different but they had the protection up. Okay. This hand's fine. So we're looking for a sack outlet here. I think we're gonna get another black source. Or let's get red first. Okay. It's a good card. That'll ideally so what we want to try to do is mill into our um like woe striders here. So here, let's just gain some more life, mill a bit. Needed that village rates. That was a turn to try to steal. They are tapped out. Hollow Blade can be a decent threat against us. If they tap out here, could potentially get a couple turns of just stealing it. Okay, they go Apparition. Take the three here. Okay, can I get a sack outlet? I think we're just doing this this turn. Just not drawing what we need this game. Like the claims are great, but like three Woe Striders, four Cronin Wars, the Thassa. Any of which would have been good. 
So it's probably all going on Hallowblade. Hallowblade can get protection now. I think we're just going to try to get some cards out of them. Jengantha. I think we're just Jengantha ing. It's the biggest threat. If they have Giant Killer, it's bad, but can't do much in that case. Just need a Woe Strider. So we're going to take five here. Life total is still pretty good. I can do like the Heartless Act shenanigans with it. My goodness. My goodness, where are spells? Thank you. Okay, so the plan is... Kill this. on their end step. Then steal Season Hallow Blade. We got a lot of mana, which is nice. So what I'm going to have to do is claim first the all seed. Because I, I don't want them to have up two uh, protections here. So they let that die as they should. We're pretty dead to a mall here. So they can preemptively give us protection if they'd like. So they, they have the option to sack here. So now I steal the season Hallow Blade. And then just hope for a sack outlet next turn. Or Thassa. We have basically two, so it's twelve percent, nineteen percent. It's fine. Really not escaping that much. Another Cronin War is nice. Um... 
So they need to attack with everything. I can accrue in war. Steal something. They attack with everything. They're hitting me for like four. I think we're just passing the turn here. And then stealing this back. Because I'll get my Skyclave Apparition target back. So that gives me another blocker. They maul here. I can do six damage, but then I steal whatever goes on the maul. We just need a sack outlet, really. So that's something we're just gonna claim here. They can decide to give something pro red to protect it from like the shock damage. One time, Woe Strider, Kazal's Fury, Thassa, literally anything. They have a pump spell. They kill their own thing. Okay, that's actually really good for us. So that gives us another blocker. Their board gets wiped. I steal back their Hallow Blade. Lantern. We're not using our graveyard this game. Also worth noting that they brought in a lot of graveyard hate for us and we're really not that graveyard focused. Thassa. Give me a Thassa. Thassa, Thassa, Thassa. You know what? I screwed that up. I needed to go full control there. I could have had Season Hallow Blade kill itself by discarding a card. No, it doesn't work though, because it's indestructible. So we'll set them up so that we could potentially kill them next turn. They can't do enough. Okay, got him. Because I can just steal one of their creatures. Um, so they just brought in a lot of graveyard hate. I think we're okay, all things else considered. Um, the shades can't block. I do think like in the sideboard, I'd want like one to two more pieces of removal. Like, we do have a lot, just I guess this matchup's a little awkward. I don't think I'd love bringing in another piece of, like, another Croxa. They showed many ways to stop it, but if we can get a sack and steel outlet, pretty good. Opponents also use, like, 10 more minutes more clock for us than they were the aggro deck. Sounds good. Just being able to like bone crusher a couple turns in a row. Also Valky just becoming a, like stealing a creature. Yeah, opponents use seven more minutes of clock than us.
think I'm actually going to fetch on one just to thin out my deck. And we're going to stomp now. The Dranith is a bit annoying. Because I can't cast my adventure side of Bone Crusher. Dane Doesn't do a huge amount here. I think we're just Mire Training. Oh, I would have loved that Heartless Act. And just need like something. We'll trade there for sure. So they want the shield as well. Might just be a turn of putting this into hand. So this reduces our damage output by one. And if counters, if we um, don't pay one. This is look likely going to be spell or ability and opponent control. So it would counter Valky. Um... So I can do this. They're only hitting me for two a turn. This kind of keeps them back. I do want to keep the Bone Crusher available. So I can't cast this because of this. Let's just do this. We're only at 18. We're not under huge amounts of pressure. This also gives us quite a bit of mana advantage. If I can draw Thassa, it's pretty decent. Immersturm Predator does a good job here. Okay, with Aspirin, it becomes a little bit annoying. That becomes like, how do they keep drawing the exact like perfect combination of cards? And we cannot draw anything that's not lens. Um, I think we're just doing Jenganta here. It lets me go Tybalt and activate its ability this turn, so I can take Redain off the battlefield. to which they will now draw an all seed for sure. 100% all seed. Oh no, this makes it cost even more. So it's nine mana, so 10. Don't think that's enough. The combination here is actually really being... Can we stop drawing lands? No, I can't cast that. I kind of locked this under here. No dice, no dice. Let's just see if we can. And the fact that it's got Vigilance just means it's going to kill everything I'm doing. What's my out? I need an Akronin War. 
Predator is not bad. It can block a couple turns. Thassa would be decent. Thassa gains me life. At this point, Heartless Act doesn't do much. Because I'm dead next turn. So this is basically my turn. Cronin War. Cronin War. Claim the firstborn. My goodness. Oh, da, 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 da. How many lands? We used three Fabled Passages that game too. That's an annoying one. want more removal on this side. The fact that we don't really bring anything in. I don't think we need the oxes. Probably just go eliminate here. one more with the deck that's unfortunate like you're gonna get variants aside but we had a number of cards that kept us alive there at least one more turn I dropped two percent for that loss because the person was in my goodness curve So two options to kill on turn two, which is really good for us. Um, let's get bla. Let's get red mana. Let's put this out on black for now. So we'll wait to see what they play out here. If they go like robber, I'm more interested in killing the robber. Yeah. Um, so here I have a choice. I can go Bone Crusher Giant or I can go Woe Strider. Or I can just have the option to stomp or heartless. I think this turn I like just going strider. If they have a frostbite, it gives me two blockers. If not, I have predator with another spell here. Take that damage. Kazul's Fury. It's another interesting one. I think we're just doing this passing turn. So we do this, do this, just kind of clear out their board, and then I can drop my Predator. So they need land and robber to have a haste threat, but then I can just give this protection. Okay, gold span. They can't attack in with it. So I 
Exile there. Yeah, they didn't read the card. I wanted to just read this. Sacrifice gains indestructible to end the turn. Tap it. When it becomes tapped, exile up to one target creature from the graveyard and put up to. Okay, so it's up to. Uh, I think we just want the eliminates here. And probably cut out the Thassas, is my guess. Actually, we'll split the difference. I don't see Croxa being great here on the play. At least Thassa can potentially help with the steal. Let's do that. To, playing a one of duress might not actually be bad either when you think about it like you're able to sneak through steal some stuff how's everybody doing today Finally got a game where we're not the ones uh, mulling to oblivion. I think this hand's fine. I'm gonna hold the Croxa to a later turn. So we just do stomp this turn. A claim would be very good. Worst case, I crocs a village rights this turn, depending on what they play out. If it's just like annex, we probably take a turn off. So they can't claim us this turn. I take another card out of their hand. It draws me two. My life total is still pretty good. So I think we do that. So you want to do full control when you do this. So Croxus trigger goes on the stack. And then you village rights it. So, okay, so we got a removal out of their hand. I can always go bone crusher next turn. Oh, that's really bad. That is like terribly bad. Um, so I don't think I'm beating an Ember Cleave regardless. So I'm gonna play this out as though they won't have Ember Cleave. Block on the Annex. We drew too many lands again. <sighs> it's got my Valky. So I either give them the thing or I try to draw two cards. I shock myself by doing this. I think we gotta do this. A Cronin, claim. Heartless isn't bad. Gets two things off. I take four. So they activate here. Go down to one like this. Still pretty dead. How 
many games are we just going to draw like nothing but lands? Um, like eight steel effects. If we can get like Meyer trade in. Okay, this hand should hopefully get us somewhere. I want to guarantee a fourth land. Make a frostbite here. Both of those would have been well welcomed cards. No frostbite there is pretty good for us. I will trade. Another game where we're just getting uh, screwed over. On lands. Might switch to historic after this. Roberto. No blocks. Um, taking like two this turn. Okay, so now we're just drawing like nothing but village rights. Put this in hand. It's a big body. I want him to play out something a little bit bigger. That way I can uh, steal it. That's a good one to steal. Just like weird sequencing that Arena's been doing has been odd. Okay. I'm going to borrow your annex. Okay, friend? Let me borrow that. Stealing Bone Crusher is really annoying. Uh, I actually don't mind doing this. It draws me cards. It fizzles the Bone Crusher. I think if I was them, I kind of like just going the, um, the activation there. Um, I take two this way, I take four, don't love that, I can Bone Crush or something, I can Jenganta, I actually just like Woe Strider here I think, Woe Strider hold up village rights. It gives me two blockers this turn. I don't die through Ember Cleave either. So they go three. Yeah, they're one short anyways, so we're probably fine. Throw a block there, throw a block there. Um, so I think we block there, block here. Draw two cards. This clears out their board. We 
to just dodge cleave for a turn. Too much. Too much. Hey, Jaffer. Oh, sorry, I missed the raid. Appreciate the raid. Welcome everyone from Jaffer's stream. Shout out to Jaffer. How'd the rest of the tournament go? Ah, that's unfortunate. I'm trying out a couple decks from the uh, the SCG. Glogoff, appreciate the follow. So we were just playing Grixis Sacrifice, uh, basically a black red sacrifice, splash blue for Thassa main sideboard. You get a bunch of counter spells versus Sultai matchup. Uh, for those of you new to the channel, I'm the MTG Joe stream a couple times a week but do youtube videos every other day uh play a bunch of standard and historic um usually do a bunch of like miq stuff like that um probably do one more maybe with this deck see how it goes it's been pretty it's been okay uh, i think i'm actually gonna switch it up 